Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is another reason to read the books I've read between the vloggy videos. I don't know why I did that. No. Right. Okay. Right. Today is another Reason Reads a video, and today's video is a very crime based, I wanna say. It's very thrillery ish, I don't know, but I have three books. And um, let's just get started. So, the first one is A Court by Harlan Coben. So, this is the first and only book by Harlan Coben I've read, but from what I hear is that Harlan Coben writes these like epic thriller mystery crime things. I don't think it's for me. <laughs> so um, this 17 year old girl, she disappears mysteriously and she's one that's like she's been the perfect daughter always and then when her mother doesn't find her she's like why what's happened uh so we have that going on yeah and then we have this reporter that's maybe um not the best reporter possibly hi do you have things to say about it? Do you want to come up? Come on then. You can jump by yourself. You have four legs. Okay. I don't think this book was for me. Like, at all. No. Um, I'm not sure what I was missing, but I was missing something. I just could not get into it. I didn't find it thrilling or mysterious or anything. It gave me no vibes. It basically gave me, I'm very bored. So not for me. Maybe I was in the wrong mood. I don't know, but not the right time for this book for me or just not the right book for me. Eh, happens, it happens. The next two books, the last two books, are by the same author. So, Dorothy Coombs and I have read a good chunk of Dorothy Coombs and books, I want to say. They have mostly been, I want to say, romance. Not chiclet, as it were, because they've been more serious than chiclet, but more in that general area. Now, these two, and I think the ones after, are more thrillery, mystery, crime kind of based books. Let's start with this one because I think this is the first one I read of them. So this is The Rose Petal Beach. So, ta Tamia? Tammy, Tammy? Oh, this woman, because I'm not sure how to pronounce her name now. This woman, <laughs> Um, her husband is accused of, uh, like, on the verge of rape slash rape. He's accused of that. So, one night, the police shows up and he's like, okay then, and just goes with them. No fuss, just goes. And the wife, obviously being like, what the fuck just happened? She gets no answer. She basically rings up her friend and says, can you come watch my kids while I go try to figure this out? Or at least get some answers. And the friend is like, really? Okay, then I'll come. And she comes and she's like, out the door. She doesn't really get much of any kind of answers. But then it kind of reveals itself that the friend that she called to watch her kids has accused her husband of some misconduct. Which was why she didn't really want to come and watch her kids. Yeah. Ooh. So the friend and the husband, they work at the same place. So there's been some workplace misconduct kind of a deal. Yeah. The 
husband then comes and says, well, no, this is not what happened. These, here's my, here's, here is my proof. These are the texts that she sent me being like, they had an affair. They, it wasn't like he was trying to rape her or something. They were having an affair for like two years or whatever, which the friend obviously denies. And then the friend is murdered. Who done it? Who done it? Oh my god! The the way the plot kept going like back and forth, like is it this person? Is it this person? Is it that person? Who killed her? And then the victim's daughter shows up and it's like, well, she couldn't possibly have had an affair with your husband because she's very gay. She's like super gay, so it would be more of a thing that she had a thing for you than her, your husband. So there's no way she had an affair with your husband. More plausible that her husband tried to, you know, get a bit too feely up with her than anything else. I really enjoyed this book. I was hesitant to pick it up because it's literally double the size of all her other books, but ah, Dorothy Coombs, I should remember that Dorothy Coombs writes terrific, ooh, yes. Um, so now I definitely need to pick up more of her books because um, these two are the last. So, you know, I have this one crimey-ish mystery thriller-ish book two. This is not as crimey, bloody murdery deal. And this one, which is called The Favours of Love, by the way. So in this one we have, do we have a name? We don't have a name. So in this one, the husband has been killed. He was hit by a car, wasn't he? He was possibly hit by a car. He was killed in some way <laughs> and the wife in this one i have no names i don't remember them and it doesn't say on the back yeah cool so in this one while she is trying to cope with you know not having her husband anymore she has a 14 year old daughter which is uh, it turns out is pregnant and she finds this out not from the daughter but from like the the principal the school anyway and it's like wait a minute why didn't the daughter just go to her mum suspicious she also has a son so there's a lot going on not to mention that her husband's great aunt or no her husband's aunt because it's the kid's great aunt. Um, she is kind of kicked out of her old people home for being a bit a uh, bomb chicken wah wah. <laughs> um, she's a saucy little lady. Yeah, and she moves in, which apparently her husband had planned all along for her to move in. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but also there's a lot happening with the teenage daughter. 14 year old daughter being pregnant is a lot. And while she's trying to cope with like without her husband, she's also trying to like figure out work situation. There's a lot going on. I mean, you know, I think you can imagine everything is... Ugh. Oh, and she's being stalked by her husband's killer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This was also kind of a chunky book. I should have remembered Dorothy Coombson. I mean, I did say with the, the, the Rose Petra Bleep one, I should have remembered that Dorothy Coombson is a terrific author and the size of the book should not have put me off wanting to like pick them up i really need to pick up all the books after i think the flavors of love there's a lot more than i didn't say about the books by the way but yeah oh my god so good i need more and possibly you too oh goodness me that was a lot in a short amount of time well shorter ish um yeah so you know thank you 
so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.